don't uh, believe it's my vision, but that I need to be a situation provider for the dancers to release their unique, authentic self, and then I take from that and write the work. So I did a lot of play. Um, a lot of my women in the cast wrote in a journal about um, what Mother Earth is to them. The name of my piece this year is called Vernal Muses, and it is basically a piece about spring. It is my favorite season. There is such beauty and mystery in spring, and there are so many great uh, springboards for improvisation, which is the whole idea of spring. My dancers have um, moved outside. We've actually jumped on trampolines. We've colored and drawn and done a lot of playground games and really gotten into the whole aspect of Mother Nature and her mystery and being real excited and young at the idea of springtime when you can take off your shoes and run wild in the meadow. I didn't want to see a technical dancer. I wanted to see a really raw, excited, um, joyful body. There's a section called Seedless Watermelon, which is the planting section. So there's a lot about fertilization. Um, there's a lot of symbolism about from seed to table with food and uh, sort of the mystery of gardening. Uh, there's a romantic section called Liar's Moon, which is all about um, love making and spring fever and intercourse and nature and, and animal life as well as, as um, and humans. And then the last piece is called Joyous Divergence, and it's basically just an explosion of being free and fun and childlike and the sound of the song, which is a playground game. I think with spring we also think about prom and all of these little silly social things that happen with, you know, the put on your Sunday best and go to the barn dance or whatever those things are happening when the weather turns nice. And so we rehearsed some formal waltzing. We watched a film documentary on Andy Goldsworthy together and how vulnerable his art is, but he's positioning stones or stitching petals together with thorns and he creates things in the environment knowing that they will melt or blow away or fall apart. This is a remarkable time of year. This is a remarkable season of birth and life. It should be honored.